Okay, 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 hello, hi, I'm Kamikaze, hi, I'm back, okay. I am so sorry for that delay. Wow, that was painful. I physically could feel the pain emanating from, from this chat. Hello, 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 good evening, YouTube. Welcome back to the NASCAR Thunder 2004 100% race length career mode Tony Reigns playthrough. We are back 2.0. We are back and ready for some more. Today we're going to Atlanta, but I do have good news beyond that. All right? Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, feast your eyes upon the face cam. What? Oh, there we go. There we go. It was delayed for a moment. There it is. There it indeed is. Um, probably gonna be like, I don't know. Right here. Right here. How's this? This'll do. Yes, this works. Hooray! <laughs> Hello and good evening, YouTube. Welcome back. We're back. We're doing it. Last time we went to Las Vegas, Dale Jr. dominated that race. He is the points leader by 10 points over Stewart. Ricky Rudd with a good start to his season. Marlon with a good start to his season. Um, uh, McMurray with a good start to his season. We are 38th in points. Oh, no. Oh, no. With a 34 average finish. That is... That's not good. I've seen better. I've seen better. So, um, anyway. Let's see here. Let's see here. So, bad news is that Dale Jarrett hates me. If Dale Jarrett gets alongside me during this race, he will run into me. So that's going to be fun. Newman's close. He's going to have a logo, but I can get that away soon. Stewart's fine. Kurt Busch is fine. And I actually do have some friends. I do have some friends. Kenny Wallace is the biggest friend. Kenny Wallace loves Tony Reigns. Um, do, 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 do. Yes. So, if you're wondering why Ryan Newman hates me, it's because I killed myself on the last lap of the previous race and ran into him. So, that's my fault. We'll admit, shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but there's not much we can do about that now. So we're going to Atlanta. I'm actually going to do a practice lap because I was going to practice this, but then I got a phone call and I've been on that phone call for the past 40 minutes. That's why this um, streams took so long to start. So what you going to do? What you going to do? So let's find out who is on the poll at Atlanta. And the answer to this question is Rusty Wallace on the poll, not Kenny Wallace. Wow. Um, so we're going to do 23 PSI and negative one rounds of wedge. Um, and I'm going to do a practice lap because I honestly was going to practice this before coming in. So I'm going to do two whole practice laps just so that I'm ready for qualifying. I don't think this is cheating. This isn't cheating. In fact, I don't know why anyone would call this cheating. This is just a waste of time, honestly. I should have done this before the stream started, but hey, what you gonna do? Yes. Yes. So, apart from that, how's everyone's day been? I've accomplished absolutely nothing on my days off. Yesterday was a day off. I did literally nothing of value. Um, today, I woke up at like 10, and now it's, wow, wow, way to blow a corn, way to blow a corn. How is this helping me? How is this helping me for qualifying? Yeah, so I've been awake today, and right now, so I woke up at 10, it's 5.04 right now. So I've been up for a whole six hours, seven hours, amazing. Wowzers. Am I still doing picks? No, no picks. No picks for this series. Very sad, I know. Everyone's very upset about this fact. 
So yeah, you can see the thing, you can see the problem that I have whenever I'm playing this game is that if I want to look at the chat, the TV is here, the chat is here. So we're not really able to uh, to accomplish much on the whole chat home front. So this is why whenever I die in a race and I get mad about that, it's because I'm looking at the chat. Yep. That's my excuse. For every single time that I die in this game, that's my excuse, is looking at the chat. Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. This is a D this is a really good first lap, but like it doesn't matter. The first lap is always going to be 43rd. So we hit the line, 43rd. Whoop de goddamn do. You just gotta drive it pretty hard into this corner and then on the brakes. I got way too hard on the brakes. This is gonna be a terrible lap. Terrible lap, just absolute garbage. Embarrassingly awful. Is there even a chance that I get the qualifying objective now? I'm all the way up off the bottom here. This was this was an okay three and four, but one and two was so garbage that it probably doesn't even matter. At the line, one third thirty one point three. Twenty ninth. Okay, I got the qualifying objective. That's that's what matters. It's <laughs> all that matters. Oh man, thirty six viewers. What's up, chat? We are going to do things. Um, so let's make up, make sure the setup's right. 27 PSI, negative one on the suspension. There we go, all right. Rusty Wallace on the pole. So let's get to the intro. Intro! EA Sports welcomes you to Hampton, Georgia, site of today's NASCAR Winston Cup race, the Bass Pro Shops MBNA 500. I think we're in for some incredible racing, judging by this track's history. There sure have been some incredible finishes here at Atlanta. In the March race of 2001, Kevin Harvick beat Jeff Gordon to the checkered by mere inches to win his first NASCAR Winston Cup race. Given the circumstances and the emotion of that victory, that is one that people will talk about for decades to come. Kevin LePage hasn't made much of a move in the point so far. Yeah, those guys have been Kevin working LePage. so hard this year. It's a shame it really doesn't show in the points. Just seems they can't keep that car out of trouble on race day. And yeah, maybe their luck will change today. We have Kevin oh, LePage in the intro. Car. And there's me with all my rivals. He definitely needs a good finish. Not just for himself, but for the team, his sponsors, and everyone else involved with that team. All right, and then the very loud national anthem sorry sorry i gotta be standing my bad oh what we have here what we got i can't even tell they're so far away they look like little tiny planes all right beautiful absolutely beautiful absolutely spectacular all right hello we're ready here. All right. Yay. Let's see Feeling dead. Same. Can relate. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the 57 is just not an attractive car, is it? It's just trash. Trash bag. Trash can bitch. Um, those were A10s, were they? It looked tiny. I got to put my fake seatbelt on. Oh, my goodness. Strap in. Oh, oh. Gotta reach up and grab them pulling belts tight one more time. <laughs> oh, man. So when Kevin LePage retires, do you hope he retires with no replacement? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I hope that LePage's car, the 57, goes away forever. I like the 60. I like the 37. Um... Chase Montgomery, the 27, is pretty in, uninteresting. But, like, you, they don't retire. They don't retire. The Bush cars, the Bush series drivers replace other drivers. They don't, they don't retire. 
Tony Reigns versus Roman Reigns at a Reign Mania. Ah, I can, I can barely read that. Wow. If I finish, it's a success. Maybe. You see, the thing is, I look back at the previous attempt at this race, because I know I did really good. And I got like 27. It's like, how'd that happen? Like, I'm not expecting anything more than 35th. That is my expectation for this race. What lower series NASCAR would most likely cut and destroy? I mean, Ark is not looking so hot. <laughs> Bush guys retire if they don't get a ride after six seasons. Oh. Okay. I thought that was... I thought after six seasons it was just the fake guys that were retiring. Oh, Dale Jr.'s missing some hood. He's starting all the way in the back. Dale Jr. starting 32nd. He's probably still going to win this race. What is this? Who is the cameraman holding this camera? Man, it's just shaking it. Look at it shake. Who is the drunk ass holding this camera? Man. Which other drivers do I hope retire with no replacement? Um. Well, if Ricky Rudd gets a replacement, the game glitches, right? It's Ricky Rudd, right? Or is it Joe Nemechek? It's one of the two. The cameraman is Parkinson's. Oof. Yep. Well, there's your starting grid. Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, 42 viewers, you're about to witness some stupidity. Because what lies ahead? 325 laps at Atlanta. And the race. The, what is it, Golden Corral or Bass Pro Shops NBNA 500. That's what it is. The race is underway, and we're going to have a good jump here for some reason, because I qualified horribly, and that's the reason. So we're amongst trash drivers. Ricky Rudd is fifth in points. He's just going to drive around me like I'm sitting still. But we're having, going to have a really good corner. See, the thing about Atlanta is that this, this is probably one of the easiest tracks in the game. Oh, Michael Waltrip, and I forgot i forgot to mention, a lot of times there's a caution on the first lap because the AI doesn't understand how to go three wide through there. And they usually go three wide if you're in front of them for some reason. So yes, Michael Waltrip just killed half the field. So there's going to be a bunch of really fast guys that are going to be coming up behind me here. But that does separate the field out a little bit. Now, if there was a caution, I'm not 100% sure whether or not I'd want to pit. Because if I restart last, I'm going to lose the draft. And you'd, you, you would think that the draft at a track like Atlanta wouldn't be that important. Well, actually, it is super important. So, so yes. But yes, I've done three practice races for this before today. And all three practice races had a natural caution. Someone died and caused a caution. It wasn't me either. So, and that's all three attempts so far, so... Oh god, I'm about to cause a caution myself. It's Brett Bodine every single time this man is just trying to make my life miserable. Well, there's the first contact of the race. No visual damage yet. That's always good. I always like it when we don't have visual damage. Bodine, can you seriously just go fist your own cunt hole? Like, honestly? Honestly, could you do that for me? Just for me? Dude, come on. Be a bro. But as you can see, the rest of the field is already catching up to me. Look at all these fast people, and I see him in the mirror. I see Dale Jarrett in the mirror. Oh, I see Dale Jarrett in the mirror. And that is my impending doom. That's out my mirror right now. That little bit of pixelation behind Ricky Rudd. Yeah, that's my impending doom back there. Man, we got a lot of slow cars up here, though. We got Biffle and Hermie Sadler. Two guys that are usually... Some of the slowest on the field. And there, all the way up there is Kenny Wallace. He's already fallen from where? Started fourth. He's all the way back here already. Man, if Greg Biffle could just get out of the way, just like that, 
Now, the reason that this track is easier than a lot of other tracks is because for some reason, the AI like to take the middle lane here. Oh, contact! Oh! Oh! Oh, there was contact up there. See, they like to take that middle lane. You saw Kenny Wallace all the way up there, all the way against the wall, practically. They like to take that higher lane for some reason, so. All right, we're up to 21st. I'm definitely not finishing 21st. Oh, God, oh, man. There's Dale Jarrett. I should have just let him by there. I really should have just let him by there. Okay, Hermie Sadler's gonna be slow. We're going three wide again. Oh God, okay, just go. Just go, Jarrett, okay. There we go. Okay, so I lost a couple of spots there. But me losing spots there and surviving for the rest of the race is more important than being the position that I was in there just now. See, that was me trying to glance at the chat, just to see if there's anything interesting. You think that you think that I get a top 15 if everything goes right? I mean, I appreciate, I appreciate the confidence, but I tell you right now, it is misplaced. There is no way that I finish top 15 in this race unless something incredibly unlikely happens. The only way that that happens is if I somehow drive up to 15th and then the entire field gets lapped, and then a caution comes out at the perfect moment to trap everyone behind me a lap down, and even then, even then, even then I don't have so much confidence. I still think the goal is 35th. Don't get me wrong, this has been a great start to the event. I avoided Dale Jarrett. We've made up some spots. See, I could maybe even attempt to draft with Hermie Sadler, because we appear to be pretty evenly matched. I've already tried, I think I've already passed Fermi Sadler once, and I was just trying to avoid dying to Dale Jarrett earlier. And Kenny Wallace was really slow earlier, but he's kind of sped up again. I'm thinking Brett Bodine might be a good guy to draft with, but I don't trust Brett Bodine in any capacity after all the shenanigans that he's pulled throughout this series so far. He has been an absolute chode. An absolute chode. And Dale Jr. still hasn't made the pass yet. Dale Jr. on lap 11 is still behind me. How is this even possible? Well, it's not going to be for much longer. Save it. Save it. Don't go down pit road. No, 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 Never mind! Why can't I have anything? It was going so well. It was going so well. I'm surprised I'm still alive, dude. Great. I get to drive this car next week, by the way. Now it's going to be the slowest pile of shit that you've ever seen. On lap 11. On lap 11, we are now officially destroyed. So the car is going to be a slow piece of shit. No one else is pitting, obviously. So this actually helps. This is actually a good thing. This is actually a good thing. Ladies and gentlemen in the audience, let me tell you why me being destroyed on lap 13 is actually a good thing. Now, I'm going to be slow. I'm going to have absolutely no speed whatsoever this week or next week however i'm going to be 13 laps better on fuel than everyone else on the track so so i should be able to go longer on fuel than everyone in the field now I'm going to lose the draft here, and I'm probably never going to catch 40 seconds. There is, I mean, the, there is basically zero chance that I'm going to catch Christian Fittipaldi. We are now officially Omega screwed. This, 
I mean, apart from dying, I think dying, just just DNFing the race, would have been better, because then I could have just restarted the race and tried again. But since I'm just destroyed, the car is destroyed, it's going to suck ass to drive. I mean, I think we're going to Bristol after this, so like, well, I wasn't going to do good at Bristol anyway. I was going to be the slowest car on the track in Bristol as it is anyway, so. That's not even the worst thing in the world. But in this race... It's going to be, so this is exactly what I was trying to say when I was saying, I'm hoping for 35th. 35th is a good goal. And since we just had a caution, there's a chance that they're going to wreck in the tri-oval or quad oval. See, just like that. Just like, oh, that's just, that's debris. Debris caution from Jeff Green. Why didn't he pit after he ran into me? I don't know. Next race is Darlington. That's fucking phenomenal news, because I'm going to be slow in Darlington. I was going to be slow in Darlington anyway. Who cares? Every race that I'm using worn equipment in this first ten, first ten events is going to be slow. And I'm going to be a slow piece of shit at fucking Bristol anyway. Wow. Imagine that. Jeff Green dropped the Marie. Tony Stewart's been gaining some points, though. He's the current race leader, and Dale Jr. was stuck in traffic for that whole first run. All right, well, another restart. So here's some more good news. The more debris cautions that we have, the less of this race we have to do. Because, you know, we're shaving off, like, 20 laps at a time here. See? See? I should have pit there. I, I, I was, I, there, there's no reason to have not pit there. Like, I'm just hurting myself at this point. Yeah. I mean, I'm still on the track. I've got the qualifying objective. <laughs> yeah. I got the qualifying objective. So, that's good. I'm just now realizing that you can't see the mini-map with this face cam, which I don't really care. I don't think you need to see the mini-map. I can point out, because the only time that I'm looking at the mini-map is when the leader is somewhere, so, and I can always just point that out verbally. Anyway, the goal is to finish 40th and finish ahead of Casey. Then I will get a bunch of money and things will be going, it will, things will be wonderful. Everything is fine. It may look like, you know, we're in a really bad situation, but I assure you, this is actually, let me explain why flipping on lap 9 of a 325 lap race is actually a good thing. Because, you see, I'm still on the lead lap. So, once everyone starts coming down pit road, see, I... We'll lead a lap. Alright, and then we'll get a bonus point. So, you know, I'll be able to claw my way out of 35th in points. Oh, Mike Skinner is so slow. Oh, he's so slow. Come on, David Green, we got this. Come on, David. This is a real David versus Goliath. The Goliath is... Um... Mike Skinner. I don't know why Casey hates me. I'm pretty sure Jeff Green should hate me. Jeff Green is going to be a 60. Casey, I don't know why Casey hates me. I don't even think he hit into me. Hello? Share draft with Casey. Okay, he doesn't even hate me that much. This is barely actually a rival. Barely. You, this, this shouldn't even count as a rival, okay? Honestly? No, he's not. Shut up, crew chief. See? See, Casey's fine. Could you not? See, the share draft mechanic in this game is just such worthless garbage. Stop texting me. If someone in the chat's texting me right now, I'm actually going to scream. Okay, there we go. See? Now Casey does... There's no longer a... No longer a logo. Casey no longer hates me. Which is good, because I need to pass him if I'm going to get the, the objective. So, you better move your ass. See, his car's not even damaged! Look at this! Look at this! The 41 isn't even damaged! Like, he didn't even run into me! Hello? Why does Casey hate me? 
This is so unfair, dude. I hate the rival system in this game. It's so bad. God, it's trash. But you see, the thing, the good thing is, I'm faster than Casey, and we're above 40. So, we're in a good situation. Ignore the fact the car is destroyed. This is actually a good thing. Okay? Everything's fine. The cars have destroyed on lap 28, but that's fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. You just have to go. Okay? We're 36th. I'm faster than everyone behind me. Okay? We're fine. Everything is fine. Look at this. I'm practically flat footing the corners from all this damage. The car is going so slow from all this damage that I can practically flat foot the corner. See? See? Everything's great. Okay. Alright. We're good. We're almost to a tenth of the way done with this race. We're good. It's only been a half an hour, but we're good. Look at this. Look at this clean line through the corner. Oh my goodness. What a turn. What a turn. See, the literally the only way that I would have been able to move on to the next race with a good car would be if I did not run into anything. If I got even a single iota of damage on this car, then next week the car would have been terrible anyway. So it's like, we're going to be going into the next race with a half-destroyed car, but the thing is, no matter how I finish this race, I was going to go in there with a half-destroyed car anyway. Because there is absolutely no way in the living hell that is planet Earth I was going to finish this race without having at least a little bit of damage. It's just unfortunate that the car had to be destroyed before lap 15. But look, I'm still fast. See? I'm closing in on these guys for these next couple of positions. And I'm pulling away from the guys behind me. See? See? Everything's wonderful. Everything's fine. We're doing great. Everything's great. See? See? Everything's fine. Look at us closing in. Hermie Sadler. See? Hermie Sadler. He understands. He understands that mistakes happen. You know, and he's not mad. Hermie Sadler is not mad at me. And that's good. I'm glad. I am happy for Hermie Sadler. And we are closing in hard. Yes. Beautiful. See, I even got some friendship points. See, I don't... I don't... <laughs> I know I mentioned how bad the ally and rival system is in this game, in the review that I did on the channel, but that review was so bad. So bad. So bad. See, the problem is, is that every video that I made before the FNAF video was terrible. <laughs> like, is there really any wonder how my channel never took off before the FNAF video? Like, it was bad. I have deleted so much content from my channel. Just out of shame. Just out of shame as to how awful it was. We're just going to drive through the field with Hermie Sadler. That's what I've decided we're going to do. We're going to tandem draft with Hermie Sadler through the field at Atlanta. That's just what I've decided that this race has turned into. Hermie Sadler and Tony Raines. Flying through the field. See? See? Now he's a logo ally. I like a logo allies. They're really cool. They really stand out from all the logo rivals. It's very nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Come on, Hermie. You can get around Schrader. I know you can. I believe in you. No, don't do it again. Shut up, Crucci.
God, the car already sucks to turn. I'm probably going to have to cripple myself by turning up the wedge. Just because that's how bad this car drives. Oh yeah, look. Schrader goes immediately to the inside, you know, the second that Sadler gets around him. So I can't. See, this car is just so loose on entry that I can't even drive the car. I can't even drive the car. It's so bad. Doesn't even make sense, dude. And this is on pretty fresh tires. Like, we're not even halfway through this tire's life. It's not even yellow on the mini-map. Alright, so I've given up on Operation Help Hermes Sadler. Kind of given up on that. See, Schrader's a green. How come Schrader's blocking me? He's a zero. Oh yeah, I know why. Because everyone in this game blocks you no matter what lap it is. No matter what lap they're on, no matter what lap you're on, they just block you. Obsessively. Like this is... This game was programmed by Steve Shives because all that everyone does is block. It's absolutely ridiculous. Does anyone know who Steve Shives is anymore? Like, we're kind of beyond that era of the internet, internet drama. Robbie Gordon is a true driver. Robbie Gordon wasn't a good driver. The duality of man in the chat. The duality of man. There exist two kinds of people in this world. Those who like Robbie Gordon and those who don't. Which group do you fit into? Oh, this car is such garbage, dude. It was already going to be garbage, but like, now that it's half destroyed, it's even more garbage. It's kind of impressive how awful this car is. Is it? Is it really, crew chief? I couldn't have guessed that. I don't have eyes. So I can't see these kinds of things. All right, there's Jeff Green. Now, the good thing about Jeff Green is that, unlike Dale Jarrett, Jeff Green is slow. So if I actually come up to Jeff Green and start to draft him, we should actually be able to get rid of his rivalry. Because I'm almost certain that his rival points are going to be over 60. But that's okay. Because he's slower than me. Yes, he's actually directly at 60. See, I could probably... If I tried hard enough, I could probably get Jeff Green all the way down to zero in this in this singular run. Because he's slow, but not that slow. He's not slow enough that, you know, I'd have to cripple myself to keep up with him. So he still hates me, yes, but he will not run into me. Jeff Green will no longer run into me, and actually... Since he's blocking me, that means he's going to come down the track so I can actually, you know, draft with him in the corner. Because as you were watching there, you can see up ahead that guys like to, you know, give a lane on the bottom at this track for some reason. I honestly think that Atlanta is going to be a good track for us in the future once the car stops sucking all the time. Because we were really fast before dying. Like, I had a solid, you know, top 30 car. But now, now not so much. Oh, and, I'm, and, I, and I forgot to mention that, yes, I am still on 10 lap fresher tires than everyone in the field. No one's come down pit road yet, so we're still on 10 lap fresher tires than everyone on this track. That has a lot to do with why we're so fast right now. So don't forget that. And I'm guessing no one else on the track has damage because I'm sure we would have had another debris caution by now. See, just look at how loose it is already. That's absolutely absurd. This car is going to suck, suck so much ass to drive. 
when it's on old tires and everyone else is pitting before me. But that's fine. That's fine. I'd much rather have people pitting before me than after me. Honestly, I do. I would rather have that. Okay. So Jeff Green no longer hates me. So that's good. Down to 26. And we're drafting away massively from the people behind me. So in all honesty, this is a good strategy to have. There's a couple of tracks in this game where you can actually share draft with other drivers and it actually helps out. You know, something like this would be impossible to do at a road course. But at a track like Atlanta, you know the lanes don't variate that much. So you can reasonably draft with the person in front of you for several consecutive laps. I was going to do this with Kenny Wallace before the wreck. I was going to try and catch Kenny Wallace and do this with him. That's why I was pushing so hard. I cannot believe that I survived getting around Dale Jarrett. I cannot believe that Dale Jarrett... I just survived Dale Jarrett. And then I just die on my own. That's just... I'm so mad, dude. I honestly am just mad. Mad in general. About the entire situation that we have. Oh, and you can sometimes force people to run into the wall when they're blocking you. So that's lap 50. That is lap 50. All oh, the speed. All oh, the speed. See, now he's going to give me the arrow push through the entire corner. Thanks, Jeff. You're really helping us out. Really taking one for the team here. Team Chevy, that is. Man, I wish I could get a DEI car from this game. Wish I didn't have to have the worst garbagey garbage equipment in the entire game. There's just, you have no choice. You must have the garbage equipment. It's horrible. I hate it. I hate it a lot. I don't know if Steve Park's holding us up right now or if this three car tandem is actually, you know, accomplishing something, but the leader is about to lap me. So if, a, if someone on this track still had some debris on their nose, I would really appreciate a caution right now. A caution right now would be honestly the greatest thing. I would love a caution at this exact moment in time. A caution would be great. Shouldn't Steve be in the 1 and Jeff in the 30? Well, you see. <laughs> this game came out in, like, August of 2003. And, like, Jeff Green and Steve Park swapped cars in, like, July so, in all actuality, this game is actually acting as though Steve Park's in the 1 and Jeff Green's in the 30. But the thing is, is that they were both so mediocre that they basically have the exact same ratings anyway. Because if you actually open up, the, uh, open up the game's files, you can see how everyone's rated. Kind of like in NR. But like... They were pretty much the same driver to begin with, so, yeah. So, EA kind of lucked out there. Oh, man. Oh, man. That was close. That could have been bad right there. Come on, guys. I need a caution right now. Just right now. Please, man. I'm going to be lapped by this time next lap. Oh, they're pitting. 
Oh, there, there might be a caution when they pit. That'd be good. That would be very good, actually. Move, come on, you slow asses. Oh, I think there's a battle for lead happening right now. Is that Dale Jr. passing Tony Stewart for the lead behind me? Is that what I'm watching? All right, so never mind. The trials and tribulations for Dale Jr. starting 32nd. 32nd is where Dale Jr. started, and he's now in lead. But Stewart is undercutting him, so that could be interesting. We got some pit strategy, Daryl. Oh, man. I'm going to go as long as I can, like always. Come on, Jeff Green. Block your teammate so I can stay on the lead lap. Come on. No? Not feeling that? All right. Oh, we stayed on the lead lap. Look at that. Come on, caution, now. Please. No, never mind. Not, no, no caution. A caution now would be catastrophic. There's Kenny Wallace. He still likes me. Yeah, the one's missing the hood. Look at that. Oh, God. Car sucks to drive. Just in case y'all were wondering. The car does indeed suck to drive. I was going to say, God, I hope Jeff Green's pitting this time by. Oh, and Dale Jr.'s in, which gives the lead to Harvick. Come on, caution! Show me a caution! Why am I friends with Ricky Craven? Ricky Craven's like an asshole in this game. He's awful. How am I plus 52 with Ricky Craven? Oh, God, dude. It doesn't turn. Harvick's still on the track, dude. Are you serious? That's just how bad your fuel economy in this game is. I just want to lead a lap, man. Come on, Harvick, pit. Come on, dude. You know you want to. I'm so close to getting a lap led, guys. I'm an eight. Man, okay, well. Okay. He's in, and so is Steve Park. Okay. Caution! Caution right now, please! Oh, come on! Stewart's... Stewart's behind me! Oh, man! I have to hold Stewart up if I want to get this lap led. Oh, my... No, and Harvick's pitting past the finish line. I'm not going to get a lap led. Oh, my God, dude. I'm so mad. Why, dude? I was so close to getting a lap led. Come on, man. Caution any time would be great, by the way. Anytime you're ready, game. Wow, dude. Look at that. Second. Second behind Stewart. I cannot believe this game. I'm still going until, you know, it says fuel tank almost empty. Because I have to. I know I'm probably going to lose a shit ton of time. But the thing is, is that I just need the, f the longest fuel economy that I can possibly get, okay? And since we had two cautions there, I have no idea how long I have on a tank of fuel. A caution would be great! Please, dude! No caution? I think Mark's in fifth, hell yeah. Come on, six. He's doing terrible in points, I'm pretty sure, so it's probably why. All right, fine. I won't do the funny. Okay, 27 PSI. But in good news, I don't think I got any damage on that run, so. That's good. I'm so mad about this caution, dude. Had a conversation with a couple people today and made an interesting analogy about this game with the rivalry system. Every driver is literally Robbie Gordon. Yep. I mean, I would have said Ryan Newman just to make it, you know, more 
recent, just so it's a good reference that the youngins today could pick up on. But yeah, you can see. You can see, like, I just lost so much time on pit road, but it doesn't matter. Literally, just finishing ahead of Casey and finishing... Oh, man! We have a 99-cent super chat. Let's go. That's not even going to pop up on Streamlabs, so thank you, the other White Castle. Streamlabs isn't even going to pick that one up. But thank you regardless. Yeah, the only thing that matters is me finishing in 40th or better, or finishing ahead of Casey. And finishing ahead of Casey. Not either or, both. Both need to be true, and the Burtons are in town! Look at this! We got Jeff Burton, and we got one Burton! Yes! Oh, this is a blessed lap. We are blessed by both Burtons. Oh, that is legendary. That is absolutely legendary. One. He's plus two. Let's go. Woo! Good lap. That was a good lap. Okay, gotta say, pretty good lap. We haven't had very many good laps in this race so far, but that one, that one was a good lap. Oh, man. How unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah, the goal is 35th. So I came down, what lap was that? Lap 63? So now we just need to wait until the next set of pit stops. And I got a feeling it's somewhere around, you know, 58. 58 laps on a fuel run, probably. So. I'm already so far off pace. With all this damage, dude. Oh. Car is just absolute garbage. And I'm all by myself, too. That doesn't help. I don't have a drafting partner. And these guys are too fast. Too fast to let me draft with them. Jamie McMurray is just too cool to be seen alongside Tony Raines. So that means I have to be by myself this entire... This entire time. Come on, McMurray. Draft with me. Oh, God. Dude, I just had a really bad burp there. That was... Something else tried to come up there. It, it tasted, it felt like, you know, that filmy, that filmy shell to a popcorn kernel at sometimes, you know, you can, oh man, hello. Wow. Darren with the $1. Everyone's getting them super chats in today. Streamlabs is still not going to pick that up though, so thank you regardless. Thank you for the Uno. Uno. Should we have an Uno tournament on this channel? Uno with subscribers. There we go. We'll have an Uno tourney. I'll have all of my subscribers. All 34,000 of them <laughs> are invited to, to, the, uh, to the Uno tournament. And then the final Uno player gets to play me in the winner-take-all championship event. Ah, Brandon Mitchell! Another Uno! Uno! Hell yeah, we're getting the ones in. I think a lot of times you can have free super chats. I don't know what the... Circumstances are, I think it comes with like YouTube Premium. If you actually have like YouTube Premium and you're paying for it, you can sometimes give free Super Chat. But I'm sure, I don't actually know. I don't watch many YouTube streams anymore. I know What If was going to stream tonight, but he said he wasn't going to. He's going to stream tomorrow. And I was actually going to play this tomorrow because I only have to work half a day tomorrow. But then what if said he was going to, you know, not stream until tomorrow, and I'm like, okay, fine, be like that. Then I'll just stream tonight instead. Huh? Huh? How's that sound? If we were really going to do it with all 34,000 subscribers, we'd probably have to do like a six-player game. You know, you'll have six players in one game and one advances. I don't know how I'd do the bracket, though. How would you do a bracket? For a subscriber's play, Uno. How would you do a bracket? How would you do the rankings? How would you do the power ranking? 
You know, it's March Madness going on. We could do March Madness on the channel with Uno. <laughs> have I ever got a $100 donation before? I don't think I have. I think the most I've ever gotten in a donation is 50. I want to say. I feel like I'd remember if there was 100, but I want to say the most I've ever gotten in one chat, one, one super chat, was 50. And now, we had a five competition back, I think, in Michigan for this playthrough. There were like two guys going at it with five after five. That was pretty scary. But I think the most that I've ever gotten in a single super chat is 50. A 15 round March Madness bracket, yes. With 34,000 subscribers though. It's gonna be, yeah, what's 34,000 divided by six? It's six, it would be like dividing 36,000 by six, which is, which is 6,000. So it would be a little bit less than 6,000 rounds if we had six player games. <laughs> That's amazing. 6,000 round UNO tournament. <laughs> That'd be miserable. I'd be sick of it by like game four. Game four, and you know UNO matches can go on for like hours. They really can. Even with just two people, you can be on there for like an hour. So you'll just get a bunch of bad cards in a row. Oh hey look, it's Bill Elliott. Hey, Bill Elliott hasn't blown an engine yet. Nice. I don't think anyone's blown an engine yet. Each game is an hour long, yeah. That's exactly what I was saying. It's 5,666. Oh, no. Sa Satanic Uno Tournament. Whoever loses has their souls donated to the Satan charity. Nice. The stakes have never been higher. Oh, look, it's Dale Jr. again. I'm about to get lapped again. Car ain't turning. Well, I'm officially two laps down here at Atlanta. We're in a bad situation, dude. Like, I am... I'm not very confident that we're going to, uh get the sponsor objectives today, especially with that death. I'm not very confident. Because it's approximately, what, 58 laps, I said? It's probably less than that, 56. Let's say it's 56 laps. So I pin on lap 62. 62 plus 56 equals 108, 118. 118. Yes, 118. 118 plus 56 is 4 174. 174 plus 56 is 180 plus 50, which is 230. Then 286 and then I'd have to pit on lap 332? Actually, you know what? We might actually be good on fuel, as it turns out, if it actually is every 56 laps. Oh, Terry Labonte! What was that? Why'd you push up into me like that? Terry Labonte, that's rude. Why you gotta be so rude? And absolutely zero percent to YouTube. Hell yeah, I agree. YouTube deserves zero dollars of your super chat. Zero. None. Go away, Lamani.
We're a quarter of the way through the race already. Are we really? Yeah, we must be. It would have been a quarter at lap 75, right? Or like lap, yeah, something like that. Somewhere around about 75. Would have been the mark. Oh my god, turn! This car, it doesn't turn. It would have been like lap 81, yeah. So we really are right at that one-fourth mark. And we're a whole hour into the stream. Nice. This is going to be a long race. Man, I haven't even seen the next car in line. Like, we are Omega screwed. We are probably Omega screwed. Like, I have no speed. None. Zero speed. I have exactly zero speed. This car is just slow. And half destroyed. Not even half. Well, yeah, it is half destroyed. That slow, slow piece of shit. Well, here's to hoping that Casey's like 40th, because because I need to finish ahead of Casey and finish 40th. So really need this. I'm not feeling really good on the odds though. We're ahead of a lot of cars right now. We're ahead of like a whole eight cars right now. So, unless someone has blown up. But I don't see anyone sitting on pit road. I haven't seen anyone blown up. I haven't seen anyone's number pop on the out on the thing on the side. So, is there just not going to be anyone blowing up in this race? Because that's what it feels like. Oh, I see Dale Jarrett. I was just thinking. I was just thinking how I haven't seen Dale Jarrett for like a long time since the start of the race. We have been able to avoid Dale Jarrett. Well, so much for that because there he is. Oh man, I'm scared of Dale Jarrett. Oh, if he gets me in the corner, that's going to be really bad. See, we got a decent amount of speed in the corners, actually. We're just lacking in straight line speed entirely here. All right. All right, got to play this smart. Oh! Okay, well, that was that was not the greatest way that I could have possibly let Dale Jarrett go, but it got the point across. Perfect. I live to see another day from Dale Jarrett's bitch ass. Shouldn't there be driver ratings in NASCAR games like in Madden, 2K? Yes, there are. You just can't actually see them. The first time that you can see the driver ratings, I'm pretty sure, is NASCAR 06. And even then, it's just like a letter grade scale. It doesn't actually, you know, give you the specifics. You can't, like, specifically go into the roster and, like, see how everyone's speed rating is or anything, right? No. Not right. Yeah. Yeah. You can see it in NR, but you can't see it in NASCAR games until NASCAR 06, I'm pretty sure. Has Bill Elliott blown up yet? Well, considering the fact that I'm still 35th, I would say no. No, he has not blown up yet. Well, I, we just saw him a little while ago, so... He's still out there putt-putting around somewhere. He's still out there. Pit crew should also have overalls. Well, yes. Yes and no. You see, in race now mode, the pit crew is the same 
no matter what. The pit crew always performs the same, but the cars also perform the same. In career mode, yes, pit crews actually do have ratings, which is why I always have shit tier pit stops because we always start with a shit tier pit crew. But yes, yes, technically, pit crews do have ratings in this game and all NASCAR games, I'm pretty sure. At least on PS2. Or at least ever since, you know, you start career mode. At least, I don't know, maybe, I don't know, I don't remember if they're in NASCAR Thunder 2002. I know they're in 2003. I think they're in... No, I don't think they're in NASCAR 08 or 09. So it's just 2003, 4, 5, 6, and 7. I'm pretty sure. Man, oh man, oh man. What an exciting race this is. Me sitting in 35th the entire time. Truly an invigorating experience. Okay, when was I supposed to pit? Lap 1... 118, right? I think we'll make it to lap 118. That's 25 laps away. That's a while, actually. That's actually a pretty, pretty far distance into the future here. There's a lot riding on it, though, that's for sure. No, 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 I don't want that. That would have been really bad. Would it have been really bad, though? Would it really have been that bad? I don't think this race could possibly get that much worse, honestly. We're in a really bad situation all around. Not looking so hot. I've been watching your DNF streams lately, and it's weird to see me actually race instead of destroying the field. Well, I mean, all things considered, I kind of did just destroy the field earlier in this. If you want to just scrub back earlier in the... In the stream, you can see that. I don't know if I want to continue the 2004 one because we pretty much hit a brick wall with that. I was thinking maybe we could try the NASCAR Thunder 2003 next. You know I made a Bristol Dirt video but didn't upload it because I was half asleep and really scattered brain but like the video itself wasn't that great. I made it what? Friday night? At like 11? <laughs> hey it's Jeff Burton again. Woo! Yay! Wow, dude. Wow. Wow. It just does not turn, does it? Yeah, you want to know how you can tell that I watched the fucking race yesterday? Because fucking cock-ass bitch piece of hairless shit Logano won. Love your content. You should do some shit post- Love this is content. why I don't read the you chat. Do some SHT posts this is why I don't read the chat. Racing. You want to know why I don't read the chat? That's why I don't read the chat. I think I just killed the entire field because the leader appears to be stopped in turn one. You know what? I think I just helped out myself, actually. Thank you, Sublime D, for actually just helping this race out. Because I think, I think people might have just died. You should post Corsa and iRacing vid slash streams. I hate iRacing, okay? Otherwise, I would. Anyway, welcome back. Thanks for the 4.99.
<laughs> I actually think that this has helped up massively, because I'm pretty sure some people just died in that wreck. So this actually helps. Yes, it's the only race that I've watched this year. Obviously, fucking Logano wins. Thank you for the super chat. We're pitting. Should we bring back Race to the Caution? <laughs> no, I hate it. Oh, we're stopped in the turn. We're stopped in the turn. Oh, we got... Oh, yeah, I got a text earlier. I wonder who it's from. Yay. I'm just gonna take whatever it gives me. Whatever the game gives me, I'm just gonna take it. Alright? Just give it to me. Wow. Wow, dude. Okay. This has been an interesting race. <laughs> yeah, every race this, this year has been great. And the one that I watch is fucking awful. Imagine that. Why do I hate iRacing? Because no matter what I do and no matter how good I get, I always get screwed over. Because the game sucks. And it puts me in the stupidest splits. And all that. Wow. Basically nothing has changed in the running order. Alright! Hey! 34th! Wonder if anyone's dead from that. I guess we're about to find out. Alright. So. Dale Jr. has not led the most laps yet, but that's because he started so far back. Um, everyone from 15th on back is a lap down. Um, let's see here. I'm 34th. And Casey's 40th. And yes, Sterling Marlin's out. No. Marlin's done. Oh, an innocent victim of the wreck. And he is out of the race. I wasn't even paying attention to the actual race replay, so. Wow. Wow, dude. All right, well, F in the chat for Marlin. His race is over. And now we've completely reset the pit stop thing. Now I still have no idea how many laps I can go on a single tank of fuel. Also, I'm losing a bunch of spots because I'm slow. Oh, but I might be a full lap ahead of people. <gasps> oh, I might be a full lap ahead of people. Yo! Yo! Hey! Oh, God! Oh, God! Someone just died! And he quit back onto the track. He burst onto the track. What's going on in this race? What are you people doing? Was that, was that Jared? Was that Jared that just murdered himself? What was that? There's another caution! What is happening in this race? And I'm still slow. Look at how slow I am. Everyone is faster than I am. Why is there a caution? Oh, this race is just a nightmare. What a nightmare of a race this has been. Wow. Oh, it's Dale Jr. The leader has damage. And he's still fast. What is this? How much damage does Dale Jr. have to be losing his hood? But he's still leading. By like a lot. I'm a full lap of, ahead of everyone behind me. All right. This is good news. I'm going to pit again. I have to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. It's just, I, need to take, I need to take a minute to take this in. How much money to restart the race? Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. $4.99. Thank you. How much money to restart the race? I don't want to restart the race. I've already been doing this race for an hour and 20 minutes. I don't want to start over. Thank you for the another $4.99. I'm a full lap ahead of everyone behind me. 
You see, I was seeing a Bubba chat in the chat, Bubba discussion in the chat. And you know, I want to say thank you to everyone in the chat because my chat has been a very tame place for Bubba Wallace discussion. So I'm really proud of y'all for that. If you want my opinion on Bubba Wallace, I think that he's good enough to be like a strong Xfinity series driver and he really should have, they just should have made 23XI in the Bush series, in Nationwide, in Xfinity. All right. Just go through every sponsor that there's ever been. Because he'd probably look a lot... I think he would have gotten like six wins if he was full-time in Xfinity. But, you know, I guess he's got to be a cup driver. Would have much rather have seen Eric Jones in the 23. Let's see if we get a caution here on this restart. Because that's a good thing about having a caution this far into a race is because every single restart is going to be a double-file restart pretty much through the whole field. So that increases the likelihood of a race-altering crash exponentially. Like, they're going three wide up there. Oh, caution's out. Imagine that. Imagine the odds. Oh, this race is ruined, dude. But, like, I don't want to restart. <laughs> I don't want to restart, guys. Did I wash my hands? I don't have time, dude. Nice caution. Wow, very exciting. These caution replays, dude. Should I pit again? <laughs> I'm not pitting this time, screw it. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. Ricky Rudd still fifth in points there. All right, yet another restart. This is just less racing that we have to do. We've shaved off like a good 30 laps with all these cautions, so I'm not complaining. I'm pretty happy actually. Pretty proud of myself, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest, I'm pretty happy with where we're at. Oh my. Thank you, David Green, that was necessary. Oh yeah. And Sprague still has his hood on, so he's probably going to cause another caution here in a minute or two. Casey! I don't want to follow anyone here. Follow me and everything is alright. Well, I'll be the one to tuck you in at night. And if you want to leave, I can guarantee you won't find nobody else like me. I like it. You know, Uncle Cracker was honestly decent. He was honestly, you know, they, they wrote his songs well. I don't know who his writers were, but they did a good job. Whoever his writers were, they did a good job. They did a good job. Anyway, we're still driving. I'm still slow. That hasn't changed. Great, now we're not gonna get another caution. And I'm gonna be way off pace. But it's fine, I'm a full lap ahead of everyone behind me. So that means we're in pretty good shape to uh, get both the objectives. So that's good news. That's good. Oh! The looseness. Oh, it, now it doesn't turn. Yeah, it was so loose in entry and then it just doesn't turn for the rest of the corner. Nice. Guess it's better than being tight in loose off. Hey. Hey. Alright. So, looks like we've got... We got a green flag run. Look at this. I didn't think it was possible either, but we have a green flag run in this game. And Dale Jr., the leader, has damage. I don't understand why they can get damage on their cars and are not arbitrarily slowed down by the game. But I guess they're fine. 
I guess, you know, all that damage on Dale Jr.'s car, he's fine. He's fine. That won't affect his, you know, pace or anything. No, no. Why would that be a thing? Why would that be a thing? Why in a million years would that be a thing? You know, that doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even make sense. Well, questions. Anyone got a question in the chat? We're gonna be here for a while, so make them good. Good questions, good questions only. Do you know any Fleetwood Mac songs? Not really. I probably do, but like I don't know what they are. Couldn't tell you offhand. Sing Still Unbroken by Leonard Skinner. I have not heard that song in years. That's on the goddamn WWE Smackdown vs. Raw 2010 soundtrack. That was my first WWE game. I don't have any idea. Ah! Loose. Can you believe the Simpsons predicted Trump would be president? Simpsons predicted everything, okay? They're like Nostradamus. They make random predictions that, you know, are kind of just generic. And then, like, when something even vaguely similar happens, they can say, Oh, look! We predicted that! Well, I do. Hang on. Just driving is so hard. Have I ever played any Star Wars games? No. The only Star Wars game that I own is the Vigilante 8 developer's Luxo Flux game. For Star Wars, that's basically Vigilante 8, but with Star Wars characters. And I haven't played it yet, actually. So no, I have not. I don't even think I've rented a Star Wars game in the past. Will I do another stream DNFing every race and... No, probably not in 2004 unless I figure out how to, you know, permanently do. We've already seen so much madness. I think, I think the, the novelty of the 2004 DNFing everything streams kind of wore out, at least for me. At least for me they wore out because we just do those streams for upwards of 10 hours and it would just be pain after a while. But that's okay. That's okay. We're good. We can do it in NASCAR Thunder 2003 next. If I watched any old NASCAR races and mo washed modern races out of my head, I have. I watched, I remember when I watched the 2004 Ford 400 in full on my phone at work. And then I watched the Kansas race in 2005. Um, I watched the end of the 2003 Rockingham race, the Dale Jarrett one. You ever watched Sonic X? Oh, honestly, I love Sonic X, dude. It's so bad. I've not watched the actual Japanese version. I've only watched the four kids version. <laughs> so that's why that's why I say it's garbage. It's probably still draw garbage even with the, you know the Japanese subtitled version, but like I don't have enough patience. See that's the thing about anime. I want to get into it, but the thing is is that I just don't want to watch subtitles. You know I just watch I just I just buy like a comic if I wanted to read. For hours you know and the next best thing would be learning how to speak Japanese and I don't really have any ambition to do that bring back thick boy I don't know man maybe didn't I only do like two thick boy streams two whole thick boy streams
you should play NASCAR 06. Didn't what if just finished playing that. Only the good tracks. I don't know. I played NASCAR 07 back in 2015. Six years ago? Yeah, you can watch that one back. It ain't going nowhere. It's like 109 parts. That's like a good three weeks of content right there, dude. It's still bad in Japanese. Well, that sucks. That's unfortunate. Have you played any of the modern Gran Turismo games? Or Forza? Well, I've, I've played Forza one time. At a Best Buy. Um, as for modern Gran Turismo games, how do you mean modern? Modern. Are you talking like sport? Because like that's the only game I haven't played. Because I kept trying to play it in my PS4. But every single time that I tried to open it, it needed another goddamn update. So no, I've not played that. I play it. I, I almost got Platinum Trophy on Gran Turismo 5. But you have to get like all golds in the fucking Sebastian Vettel challenge. So that's never going to happen. So there's no point in even... I think I uninstalled the data for Gran Turismo 5 at this point. Two thousand four Dover race where twenty people wrecked on the restart. I'm trying to think of that. I'm pretty sure I have one of the two thousand four Dover races downloaded to be a background image for long form NASCAR content. Like the Edwards video. You know the Edwards video has the two thousand sixteen truck series at Michigan in the background for like the entire thing and it just repeats. That was next level laziness, dude. Have I ever played the Sly Fox series? What's that? Sly Fox? You mean the guy from the Creatures back in 2012? No. No, I have not. Yeah! Oh, God! Chat! Turn your volume down! Turn it down! Ah! When's it going to pop up? It's going to take 10 years to pop up now. There it is. I think this is the number. Yes. You got it. You got the number. Good work, Greg D. Thank you for the five. I appreciate it. Johnny Benson should have been in the 10 still in 2005. Why? No, but I like Scott Riggs. Scott Riggs got screwed, dude. He was so good in trucks. Then he got promoted to the 10 during, you know, right when the worst leeching period in Bush Series history, right when that was starting is when he got promoted. And he was a little mediocre in the 10, but what you gonna do? Then he gets promoted to the 10 in Cup, which is just, you know, the forgotten MB2 car. And he got two poles in that car. He got two poles in that car, in that pile of garbage. You know, I know Joe Nemechek won in the 0-1 in 2004, which was Riggs' rookie year, but that was his rookie year. I mean, even when you're 30 years old, your rookie year is still going to be tough, unless your name is Jimmy Johnson. And then by then, you know, MB2 was completely just worthless. And then by the time he went to Evernham, by the time the 10 car went to Evernham, like, wasn't that 2007? Evernham was garbage by then. Oh, and here comes Dale Jr. Oh, your sleek, fast number eight with no hood. Fastest man on the track, Dale Jr. 
half destroyed car. There it goes. There it goes on by. Wow, dude. Oh my god, the car sucks to turn. Scott Riggs deserve him. That's what I'm trying to say. And then after he was done in the Cup Series, he just had to go and start and park in all the other series. Like, wow. What a downfall. Should have used the five points in the juice review as your five? I don't even remember that. I don't even remember the juice review, honestly. Like, that was the best review. That was the best game review for a long time. Until like Ford Racing 2, or Ford Racing 1 even. Ricky Rudd in second, look at this man go. Ricky Rudd in second. I miss Juan Montoya, same. I did not appreciate Juan Montoya back when he was actually full time. I think I've said this like on 15 separate occasions. Don't! Stop arrow pushing me, bitch! Stan Barrett, you fat dick. Respect points you get back when you said five points. I still don't remember. Five is the most famous meme on this channel. Okay? It's what everyone knows me for. It's five. Which is understandable because it's great. It's a great meme. Do you have the time to listen oh, another to five. you Hello? about you not learning basket case? That was a Streamlabs 5. Have I gotten the COVID shot yet? Do you honestly think I'm gonna get the COVID shot? Oh my god, two rivals behind me. Two rivals behind me, look at this. Okay, go by, Jared. Thank you. No, I'm waiting to get the COVID shot until more research is done. I know that supposedly the first shot, like, not much happens, but the second shot is the one where you can get sick. And it's like, I don't even want to take the first one, because then I think, because, like, aren't you contagious? Aren't you still contagious when you take the first shot? Oh, my goodness! Another five! The five train! The five train has arrived at the station! I didn't see who gave me the last five. Oh, it was Morton. Oh, we love Morton in this house. Thank you for the five. Morton! Oh! Oh, we got a wreck! Ah! Ah! What was that? Now I have to let Jared pass me again! Come on! Scott McNew, thank you for the five. There it is. Go by me, Jared. Thank you. Oh, and Newman doesn't hate me anymore. Nice, because that free pass, that clean pass that I just had. Now Newman doesn't hate me anymore. Hey! Briggs and Casey Out would deserve better. Wow, two former Everham drivers. I live in the middle of nowhere, so it's easy to social distance. Well, I'm going to Texas in two months. Less than two months now. Gonna be difficult to socially distance there. Socially distance on the plane. Oh, come on! Mark's out of the race! God! Why? Come on, game. Why are you like this? Dude. I hate this game. Scott Wimmer was underrated. Okay, he actually was underrated. He got absolutely railed. Absolutely railed. Scott Wimmer could have been a lot like Elliot Sadler. He could have had a very good Xfinity Series career. Turn car. Please. Please! We're finally gonna pit, by the way. It's been 
The entire play, this has been the entire race so far. We're finally going to have a normal pit stop pretty soon here. You just watched Jeopardy and that lady was incredibly stupid. That's awesome. You mean Marino? The Marino lady? You hear some people say that Aaron Crocker is worse than Danica. Well, the thing is, is that Aaron Crocker actually dominated a Nashville race before choking it away. She started on pole in two Nashville races in ARCA. One of them she led 63 laps and finished third. The other one she finished second, but I don't think she led any laps. So Aaron Crocker was actually... I don't know if it was just, you know, the equipment. Probably was just the equipment, but still. But still. Yeah, I know Truex won the truck race. How many times are people going to tell me this? I am aware. And I'm buying the diecast because I'm a sucker. Actually, I haven't paid for it yet. I was going to get... I was hoping that Allgaier's Atlanta win was going to get produced, but I don't see it online now. Lionel Richie website. Ah! <laughs> Aaron Grocker. Statistically better than Danica. It's something. It is indeed something. MWR mostly gave the team that gave Toyota a bad name. I mean, yeah. Because Red Bull was actually a pretty decent team. Red Bull was okay when they were around. And then, you know, they stopped funding it. <laughs> then they stopped funding it. And they hired Brian Vickers. That was their first mistake. <laughs> Who was a free agent in 2007 that could have been in the 83 not named Brian Vickers? Wasn't Bobby Labonte out of a job by then? Why did they put Bobby Labonte in the 83? Haley Deegan is better than Aaron Crocker and Danica Patrick combined. Well, Haley Deegan has a win of some sort. And I was very disappointed in her performance at Bristol. It was just pretty trash all around. But then again, a lot of people had a trash. A lot of people who should have done good at Bristol was trash. So, I mean, I'm just going to say that's an outlier. I'm just going to assume that because the Bristol dirt track was so garbage. But that's the reason. I mean, the real dirt race that's coming up is Knoxville. I cannot wait for Knoxville. Knoxville is going to be fun. When did Stewart leave Gibbs? He left after 2008. But he wasn't going to... He, I don't think he would have gone to Red Bull. No, I'm not pitting now. Shut up, Gucci. Did we go green on like lap 104 or something? I don't even remember. We we died on lap 100, but I don't know when we went green. Pit stops are coming up though. Eventually. Yeah, I know she hasn't done Jack and David Gilliland's team, but no one's done Jack and David Gilliland's team. Tanner Gray is just mediocre. The 17 has just had a hodgepodge of drivers, and none of them have accomplished anything. The only one that's accomplished anything, I'm pretty sure, in the 17 is Kevin Harvick at the goddamn road course. Dirt, road course. Dirt course. No one else has done anything in the 17. And is there even another DGR truck? I don't think there is. I don't think there is! And then David Gilliland led a bunch of laps at Daytona, but who cares about Daytona? It's, it's not even real. Nothing that happens at Daytona honestly even matters. Oh! The 5 train! I thought the 5 train had left the station, but it's still good. Choo-choo! On the 5 train. I have a scratch on my head. Ah. Ah. Okay. 
Okay, Ankrum is trash. Honestly, I'm ready to say it. Ankrum is garbage. He's not good. Thank you for the five. Kevin O'Dell, thank you for the five. I appreciate it. Okay, we're going to pit next time by. Next time by, we're going to pit. I think David Green is pitting this time. Nope. Nope, he's just going to push me all the way up the track. Well, you know what? Since we just had the shittiest lap you could possibly have, I'm going to pit this time. Yay, pit stops. Woo! Has Gregson crashing every whack been as good for you? Yes. Yes. I've been thinking about making a video on it, in fact. I think I have been, I have been considering making it a while. Wow. Why is the face cam so laggy? Look at that. Good God. Where did that originate from? The you're going to give me five originated from flat out one. David Scar is goaded, yes. It's from, like, I think part 13 of the original Flat Out 1 playthrough. The episode's title is Darts, with about 26 exclamation points. Have I ever heard of Street Fighter? Um... Oh, hey, there's the leader. There's Dale Jr. In the basically destroyed number eight. Somehow still leading this race. Look at him. Look at how fast he is. This is stupid. Oh, someone just blew up. I, oh, no! Was that Rudd? Oh, I think Rudd just blew up. No! <laughs> he was the closest competition that Dale Jr. had. Come on, man. Boo. Oh, we got another five. The five train! The five train! Choo-choo! Choo-choo! Choo-choo, motherfucker! The five train. is happening. Oh, yeah, this is happening. Okay, so this helps out my chances of finishing 40th or better. So that's good. That's good. I'm glad. Bristol Dirt Bristol Race, good idea or bad idea, idea for NASCAR? Idea well, for considering NASCAR. yesterday's race was a complete and utter unmitigated disaster, I would say it's not good. Everything that could have gone wrong did go wrong. Like, that was so bad. So awful. Hello? Ow! Why, dude? No! Skinner, you fat cunt! Wow. Wow, dude. Are you serious? Okay, so what's this going to do to the race? The race for the win? Because I'm pretty sure not everyone is pit yet. Mike fucking Skinner just ruined this race. We were doing so good. And now I'm probably on the same lap as the people behind me. I hate this game. And Mike Skinner just going up the track. And this replay is garbage. It doesn't even show you what caused the wreck. How do you think the Nashville Super Speedway race will go? I think it's just going to be a generic race. It's just not going to be anything special. But you know what? I'm pitting again. Because this game sucks. God, dude. He straight up had to create a brand new account just because he got a damn chat banned for God knows what. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, not everyone had pit there. Not everyone had pit yet. So now I'm going to be on the same lap as a bunch of assholes. 
I can check. I can sh I don't know, dude. See, it's just... It's just... Honestly, it's just better... It's just safer to not chat. Even though... Even though I love interacting with people, it's just safer to not chat. Oh, come on! You have no stakes. Zero. Zero stakes. And you're still... See, Mike Skinner's already on the track. Wow, dude. Wow. I got a bunch of... I got a bunch of stream donations. I got a notification for my own stream. Alright, so I'm assuming Casey's faster than me. And... I'm still a full lap ahead of Casey. So that's good. That's good. That's good. We're not even halfway through this race. I hope y'all watching this realize we're not even halfway through this race yet. We still got over half the race to go. We are just about to come to halfway. Oh, we got pitters! Oh no, I've ruined this race. No, Mike Skinner's ruined this race. It's Mike Skinner's fault. Okay, so we got some stupid fuel strategy going on by them. And we always get cautions right away on these restarts. Except no one's damaged right now, and I'm not ahead of anyone, so no one's going to get stacked up behind me. So maybe there will be a caution. There, This is the best chance that we have to have a caution is right after these restarts. Because cautions breed cautions. There are three wide up there. Do you see that in the pixels in the distance? My god, dude. What a mess of a race. Wow. Kenny Wallace getting absolutely screwed by Mike Skinner's stupidity. Well, that means I've just put a lap on Kevin LePage, so that's good. There's another spot. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Woo! All right. And now i got slightly fresher tires than a lot of the field. Hey. Hey, there's a net benefit right there. Wow, dude. Oh, my God. This race has just been a meme from start to finish. From the moment that I started streaming and I was on the phone for an extra 10 minutes after starting the stream. This race has just been a meme. This stream has just been a, just a disaster. And yet this is still better than the race yesterday. Both of them. Stage one of the truck race was really good. After that, terrible. Nothing happened. Oh my god, dude, these guys are trying to wreck in front of me. Now, if Casey wrecks and dies, then that's a guaranteed lots of sponsorship money, which I kind of need. Anything that's guaranteed money at this point kind of needed to happen. So, I'm not trying to say that I want it to happen necessarily. But, like, if it did, oh, we got more pitters. Nice. More pitters. Imagine that. God, this race... <laughs> this race was looking like it was going to be so good. And then I just had to die on lap 13. 13! What if Danica stayed at IndyCar? Well, she probably would have still been irrelevant. She probably could have gone on to be the greatest female IndyCar driver of all time if she just stayed. Honestly, she probably could have. But no, she had to follow the money. Man. And then the money ran out. Nature's Bakery, dude. Remember Nature's Bakery? I think we actually had a Nature's Bakery subscription. My mom did anyway. And it was kind of garbage. They had this, like, little mini bag of popcorn. I never got to try it. I never did get to try it. Am I racing with a wheel or a controller? I think the face cam... Nope, the face cam's still going. It's just extremely laggy. Here's your answer. Can you see it? Can you see the answer? Also, don't forget to thank Cubbies. Thank Cubbies. Oh my goodness! Oh, it's not a five. Ah! You really are living the life of a backmarker. You are really living you the life of a backmarker. You will take money from where you can get it. 
No shame and lots of pain. I know. Thank you for the six. The six. From Greg D. Very nice. Very nice. Not a meme, though. But I'll take it. They got fig bars. Fig Newton. I've never had a Fig Newton in my life. And I don't think I ever will. I think I had like some nuts or something from Nature's Bakery or whatever when we had it. It wasn't good. It just wasn't good. It just didn't even taste good. You're better off just buying like planter's almonds and just eating that. It's a good source of protein. That's for sure. Well, there's Kenny Wallace. He has fresher tires than everyone. But he's, uh, but he's another lap down now due to the fact that he pit under green. Like a loser. Yo, a loser, Kenny. This is how it feels to have the speed of Rick Ware. I mean, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I'm a bit faster than Rick Ware right now. You're going to know true Rick Ware pace when we hit Bristol. Because Bristol's going to be so bad. So bad. I kind of just don't even want to get new equipment for that race. Because I'm going to be the slowest car on the track. But then I'm going to get out of sync. And I don't want to be out of sync. I guess we'll take a look after this race is done, if I remember. And we'll see. We'll see if... Oh my god, it doesn't turn. It doesn't turn! <laughs> Look at it not turn! Man. This is some shit. This is some shit. Rick Ware couldn't have qualified back in 2003. Honestly, probably. They didn't have charters back then, Rick. What you gonna do? What you gonna do, Rick? Where's your charters at now? I'm trying to make Mike Skinner wreck. Because I want to finish ahead of him. And I know I can't if he doesn't wreck. And he ruined this race. They're three wide up here. Yay, what if it's here? Yay! Now my night is made. Everything that happens from here on was worth it. Just for that. Just for that. God, this car has no speed. It's awful. This car is embarrassingly slow. This is so bad. Like, there's nothing I can do about it either. I, I can't do anything about it. I'm just stuck with this garbage car. And my hand's starting to hurt from pressing down the gas. Oh my goodness, more money! <laughs> this man! This man is going to set a single stream record for donations, dude. Wow, and I approve it. That's cool! God says forgiveness. Kamikaze 777. says taste the pain. God says forgiveness. Kamikaze says taste the pain. I'm tasting the pain right now. I'm tasting something. And I don't like it. Man. Man. I'm... Absolutely. What's the record? There was, a, there was a race where people were doing a five battle. So they kind of racked up about $80 in donations just during that five battle. But, um, if anyone likes the five donation, there's also a special donation thing for $10 and a special donation thing for $30. I don't have any others, though, because I really honestly don't even expect people to donate 30 so. If you want the special Streamlab things, those are the numbers to hit. I tried to make more, but it just kind of got into a jarbled mess. Oh, this man is a veteran of the five battle. That explains everything. 
Make sure the power doesn't go out with 20 to go. Well, all things considered, I don't think the power's ever gone out here. Not even for a blown breaker. Breaker, breaker, 1-9. Did my grandma like the vegetarian taco rice? I didn't ask. I was just there on Saturday. I should have asked. But I didn't. Very sad. Yeah, there's a lot of good drivers they kept out of this game. And instead they put in Chase Montgomery. Like, by the time this game came out, didn't wasn't Joey Clanton in, this, in the 27 car by the time this came out? Dave never appeared in any of the Thunder games. That's true. His first appearance was like NASCAR 09, wasn't it? No. No, he was in... What car was he in before the 22? No. He was in... Yeah, he was in the 07. And they didn't put Dave Blaney in NASCAR 0. They didn't put him in 2005. What was Dave Blaney driving in 2005? No, 2006, I mean. Was he already in the 22 by then? He must have been, because Scott Wimmer was only in it from 2004 and 2005. So Dave Blaney must have been in the 22 by 2006. So that means he would have been in NASCAR 07, right? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? I'm pretty sure. More good news? There is no good news. Oh, look, it's Dale Jr. Well, ready to go another lap down. Another lap down to the fiery quick no hood number eight. Five laps down. I'm surprised I'm not more laps down, honestly. Yeah, Carl Edwards was going to make his own game. That's why he wasn't, oh my god, in NASCAR 07, 08, or, or those, just those two. He's back in 09. He's back in 09. Yeah. Please, please turn, car. Stewart's the closest competition to the leader right now, and he's stuck behind all this nonsense. Stewart, you are a full straightaway behind the leader. And he has... And he doesn't have a hood! Dale Jr.'s just gonna win three races in a row because you can't catch up. Oh, and here comes Bobby Labonte. Because he's really good at Atlanta in this game. Oh, look at all these rivals. There's Stewart. He is a rival. I don't even know how many rival points I have with Stewart. Only 40. Okay, that's not even that bad. Here comes Dale Jarrett. He could end my life, and he chose to end my life. Dale Jarrett on this day has chosen violence. Thank you, Dale. That was really necessary. I'm honestly glad that I don't have to finish this race. I don't even care, dude. I don't, I'm done. I'm done with this race. I'm so glad that's over, honestly. That was just pain. That was just pain from start to goddamn finish. God, that sucked. That sucked. Fuck off. MRN. Fuck off. If people could stop running into me, maybe I wouldn't have so many fucking rivals. Okay, that's over. Thank fucking God. Please. 40th place. Can we finish 40th? Yes! <laughs> Woo! 39th. I'll take it. I will take it.
take it. Casey finished 34th, and the winner of this race, Rusty Wallace with the win! Rusty! Rusty Wallace! He gets the win! After a tumultuous race, he leaves 33 laps for the win. Rusty! Let's go. Dale Jr. chokes it. How about that? Oh my goodness. Wow, that's going to shake up the standings maybe. Where did Stewart finish? Stewart finishes third. Ken's at second. All right. Cool. I don't even care. I'm done with this race. $30,000 in primary. I don't even care if I lost the associate money. It doesn't even matter. That's worth basically nothing. Thank you, Dale Jarrett, you asshole. Finally, this race is over. Oh my god, we were going to have to be here for like another hour and a half. An hour and a half. Oh my god, so there you go. Rusty Wallace with the win. What a chad. So that makes Stewart the points leader again. That's cool. Dale Jarrett 8, the man. The man who ended my career. That's his first top 5 of the season, second top 10, dude. Are you serious? Wow. 55th career win for Rusty Walls. Wow. All right. Damn. How's this looking? This doesn't even look that bad. 44, 40. No one's going to run into me in the next race. Stewart doesn't aim me that much. Newman doesn't aim me that much. And I have a lot of friends. Look at all these friends. I have a new friend in Hermie Sadler. I have... I have Kenny Wallace still. See? See? Hey! That stupid race ended well. That... Oh, I'm so glad it's over. God, I don't want to do that race again. We're, we're saving. We're saving the game, actually. I've decided we're saving the game. So Dale Jr. with 542 laps led. Wow. I still have zero laps led, obviously. Casey has a lap led! When did that happen? When was this a thing? How long has Casey had a lap led? What a chat. Anyway. Anyway. I'm not even mad. But the problem is, is that now for the next race, I have 50-50 and 50-50 and 50-50. It was going to be 50-50 regardless. But, like, I don't even care. We're done. It's over. This race is over. Okay. So, next race after Darlington is Bristol. I'm going to be the slowest car on the track no matter what. Then we could go to Texas with fresh equipment. So, if I use this equipment for this race and this race and go to the fresh car at Texas, that'd be cool. Then I'd have a not great car for Talladega, but that really doesn't matter. Talladega, you know, you can always have stupid things happen at Talladega. We had stupid... I know, I remember Johnny Benson flipping in the other... Uh, in, the, in the original attempt. Then we have Martinsville. And we're going to suck there. But that's just going to be a meme. Richmond we're going to suck at. Okay. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I am going to run this equipment for this race and this race. Then I'm going to repair that equipment and run the same car for this race, this race, and this race. Then we're going to have a fresh car for California, an old car for Richmond, a fresh car for Lowe's, an old car for Dover, fresh car for Pocono, old car for Michigan, and a fresh car for Infineon. All that matters is a fresh car for Infineon. Alright? That's the only thing that matters. So what we're going to do is we're going to drive this, this same car for this race, this race, repair that, drive the same car for this race, this race, and this race, and then we will be back in sync for California. Okay! We got it figured out. Alright! So the stream's ending early, and I can get some rest... I can get a drink here. A celebratory sip of the cup. And we'll be back and ready for Darlington next time. So anyway. Yeah! Thank you all so much for watching. This has been Comic Cons Games once again playing NASCAR 2000 Thunder 2004. We're going to enable autosave and we're going to let the game save. Yes! Yes! Even after that meme of a race, we're in great shape. DNFing, I've never been this happy to DNF a race.
But anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. After this saves, obviously. I'm not going to move the controller until it's safe. Okay. Yes. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time. In comes Bernie Sanders. Sometime here. Hello and good evening, YouTube. My name is Bernie Sanders, and I want to personally thank you for tuning in to tonight's stream on the Kamikaze Games channel. But there is a reason that I am here, and yes, I am once again asking you for your financial support. The Kamikaze Games streams are made possible by viewers such as yourself, and it is sustained almost entirely through donations. If you would like to, you can super chat in the chat of this stream or go down to the description and click the link to Streamlabs. And if you do that, you can donate to this stream and you can make me, Bernie Sanders, very happy. Once again, I want to thank you for joining us for tonight's stream and hope you have a good time. Thank you.